Today, I just want to talk about some key tips that everyone should know after about a month of Modern Warfare releasing because as time goes on, we just keep learning more new things about the game and things that we should apply in order to have a more enjoyable time with the game. The first thing I want to talk about is make sure you're using the most current and best weapons in the game. You got to try to stay current as far as the meta goes. If you don't know what meta means, it stands for most effective tactic available. The meta is always changing. Now, an example of this would be the 725. Everyone knows the 725. It's that one gun in the game that people love to hate. And the reason why is because it drops people from long, long distances. I'm talking about cross map. And in Call of Duty, this is unheard of. The 725 was the meta, and now it's not. With the recent patch, it did get nerfed and it's not as viable as it was before. So in turn, you're gonna see players using the 725 a lot less because of the nerf that happened. In order to stay as current as possible, you wanna be in your multiplayer menu. And if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, it says L2 to open. If you open that and you go to R1, you go to patch notes, go to the hot fixes, you know, read everything. Make sure you're stayed up to date on what's new and what got nerfed and what got buffed. Another example is the M4. The M4, you see a lot of people running around with the M4 and there is a good reason for that. It's because that is the meta. Now, you have to ask yourself, do you want to keep getting killed by the M4 because you're using a weaker assault rifle? Or do you want to be able to compete against the enemy? Because if I'm using a weapon that is statistically not as good as the weapon that the enemies in my lobby are using, then of course I'm going to be at a disadvantage and numbers don't lie. If you do some weapon testing in private lobbies and compare and contrast, you'll quickly find out that there is actually a thing in the game where some weapons are just more dominant than others and that's just the reality of it. So you're going to have to just swallow your pride and be like, all right, well, I can't use the Odin. The fire rate is so slow. It's just slow and clunky and it will not be able to compete against a weapon like the M4. Now I get it. This is very unfortunate that Modern Warfare has come to this where you're only really limited to a select few weapons. This is just the reality of it. Like I said, and this is something that you guys need to stay on top of and this might be a sole reason why you keep losing those gunfights because you're using a weapon that is statistically not as good as the current meta in the game so you always got to stay updated and make sure you're checking out those patch notes whenever they do roll out my tip for number two would be to use the attachments that actually matter on a gun now, after you have everything unlocked, I highly recommend to go through each attachment and make sure you look at the descriptions of each of those attachments and use the ones that matter. So let me go over a couple examples of attachments that actually matter that I personally put the rear grip, stock, and barrel. They will increase your ADS speed, which is your aim downside speed, as well as your sprint to fire speed. The only real crutch attachment that I see that is worth actually putting on your weapon as far as sprint to fire speed is going to be the stippled grip. You cannot run without this one because this one will help you fire your weapon a lot faster after sprinting. In Modern Warfare with how fast the time to kill is, this is super important to get the jump on your enemy and be able to be able to shoot them a lot faster. Now the stock and the barrel attachments, those will help you ADS a lot faster in helping you win those gunfights as well. Now when you stack these attachments together, you're gonna notice your character mobility is gonna be increased. And when you're stopping from a sprint to aim down sights, you're gonna notice that your weapon is aiming down sights a lot faster than it was previously. And this could be a reason why you're losing those gunfights because you're not using those crucial attachments that give you that quote unquote cracked out type of feeling where you're just moving around the map so fast, you're aiming in on targets a lot quicker. Make sure you put on the stippled grip and you put on stock and barrel attachments that will help increase your ADS speed. Now my third tip is to be passive aggressive. Now this one's very elementary and it sounds super basic, but in a game like Modern Warfare, you really, really have to be passive aggressive. Let's say you're thinking about whether you should push or stay where you are. Just be patient. Let the game unfold. Let things happen because if you're constantly running around, you're never going to stay on a streak. In fact, you're probably going to die to somebody just sitting in a corner, just waiting, or you're going to run into multiple enemies. You really have to pay attention to what is going on in the game and the flow. It is possible to rush around the map. You have to do it in a manner 
runner where it's methodical you know you have to have a method to your approach you can't just run around like an idiot without having a plan you have to actually plan modern warfare is one of those games where you have to approach the game from a tactical standpoint so let me just give you an example here let's say that i'm trying to capture the b flag right and i'm by myself i do capture the b flag i look on the mini map and i have no teammates around me usually in these situations since you captured the flag on your own and you have no teammates around you to back you up more likely than not you have enemies already running towards you in some instances you might actually have to find a corner and wait until those enemies go away to somewhere else because they see that there's nobody on the flag anymore that's trying to capture it and then as soon as they're gone that's when you can be like all right you know it's time for me to remove myself from this situation i'm by myself this is dangerous i gotta move somewhere else around the map where my chances are higher to survive okay so tip number four is also very important which is positioning positioning has never been more important in call of duty than ever three lane maps are no longer a thing we've got multi-level maps there's just different levels to the map and it's really hard to predict where the enemies are coming from because of this and where enemies are hiding people could be hiding in windows in the building right next to you that you didn't even know existed so you really have to position yourself in a way that allows you to move around the map comfortably without getting shot now this is highly possible a lot of you people are probably saying no this is not possible man i'm just gonna die to somebody you know sitting in a corner with a shotgun everywhere you go on the map you always want to position yourself in a fashion where you are going to be safe in case a gunfight does happen and you're gonna win that gunfight so stop running down the middle of the map got to get rid of that mindset because you're just going to die more often than not and use the minimap to your advantage. Now this year's minimap does not work the same. You do not see enemy gunfire on the minimap. So how you predict the enemy movement is through looking at the positioning of your teammates on the minimap. Look at those blue triangles. If you have four of your teammates to your left, if you see no enemy gunfire in the compass, then that must mean that the enemies are probably right in front of you or to the right. So that's where you want to direct your attention to and position yourself accordingly. And you also want to use objects in the game to your advantage. And they're there for a reason, also known as head glitching. You know, you want to head glitch. You want to put yourself in these positions that will help you win those gunfights. You know, a lot of people are head glitching in Modern Warfare. And it's a thing that a lot of people just cannot accept. But the reality is, if you're not utilizing these objects in the game that were put there for a reason, then you're doing yourself a disservice and you're probably going to die a lot more often than needed. So make sure you're head glitching whenever you need to. Whenever you're engaging in a gunfight, you know, find an object that's nearby that will allow you to head glitch. Tip number five is to learn how to drop shot. This is most effective when you turn around corners and you run into enemies unsuspectingly. I've done this so many times and it caught them by surprise and your chances of winning those gunfights are a lot higher. Now you may not win every single gunfight when you drop shot, but it does significantly increase your chances because you make yourself a harder target to hit. Most people who play this game do not expect you to drop to the floor and shoot them. So this will help you be more evasive and trick the enemy. It's all about outsmarting the enemy and drop shotting is one of those ways to do that. If you wanna add drop shotting to your arsenal, I highly recommend doing that and you better start practicing now so that later on as time goes on, it becomes second nature to you and you're gonna be winning a lot more gunfights and it's gonna save you a lot of deaths, trust me. So make sure you learn how to drop shot and get used to it. Go into a private match, play against some bots and start drop shotting, you know, get used to the mechanism of it. All right, so tip number six is kind of an obvious one, but we tend to forget as we play the game because we get carried away. But please be aware of the weapon you're using. Make sure you study the weapons before you actually go out and use it. I know that sounds very nerdy and a little tedious, but hey, that's the difference between a good player and a bad player. A good player is going to know the strengths and weaknesses of a weapon and they're going to exploit those strengths. So if you're using an assault rifle and you're trying to rush around the map, chances are you're not going to win those gunfights because uh, an assault rifle is not meant for rushing around because you're going to see people sitting in corners. You're going to see people trying to cross map you and you're going to get taken out in a snap of a finger just like that. So you got to recognize that assault rifles are not meant for rushing around. With assault rifles, you want to play a little bit slower, move around the map more methodically, play more reserved. 
Try to pick people off at ranges. That's the best way to use an assault rifle, which brings me to my next point. SMGs, if you're using an SMG, you need to know that they're terrible from long range. You might say like, oh man, the MP5 is trash because I keep getting dropped by, uh, by players when I'm using it. Well, how are you using the weapon? Are you trying to cross map people from distance? If you did any research and you tested out these weapons in a private match, you would know that a weapon like the MP5 is really bad from distance. So you gotta close the gap. And this goes for all SMGs in the game. Unfortunately, SMGs are not really that viable in Modern Warfare. It's not as dominant because of how huge these maps are and unpredictable the lanes can be. So a lot of people are forced to play a lot more reserved and campy. And that's why people don't use SMGs as well because they don't want, they're afraid to run around the map and rush. That's exactly when you're gonna find using an SMG a lot more enjoyable is when you keep those engagements in close quarter combat because you can definitely melt people with SMGs, especially with how quick they ADS versus your enemy who is most likely using an AR. So you're gonna have to jump on your enemies and you're gonna be able to drop enemies a lot quicker when you approach the game with that type of mentality. Always recognize the kind of weapon you're using and utilize its strengths and weaknesses. As time goes on, I will keep making more videos like this. So if you do enjoy videos like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future and you wanna stay up to date and find your way back to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video, peace.